The printing of the future is reaching sci-fi proportions. 4D printing is taking modern technology to a new level. Vili Abraham here with a breakdown on what this all means. And it just seems like, I was like reading 3D technology is actually a lot older than I thought. But here we're talking about it a lot and already we have to... Uh, Expand it to yeah. another dimension, literally. <laughs> well, 3D printing is an emerging technology, but there's already something new. It's called 4D. Well, imagine that, for, first of all, if we look at pipes that we have in our homes, we always have them very, they're very strong because we don't want to, you know, re, uh, remove them all the time or replace them all the time. But imagine if you can have something, a technology that is able to construct pipes that could change, uh, they can become uh, more narrow uh, if necessary, for example, depending on, you know, the water flow. Mm -hmm. So this is what 4D can do because it can actually make um, um, pipes that are, can either flex or become stiffer. And according to physics, by the way, there are 10 dimensions in the world and time is the Don't fourth one. Don't get me one. started on that. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> so what it can do is actually can print material that can change over time. And it's okay. actually made of something that is called smart material. Uh, there's e either uh, something that's called hydrogel, which, it, which absorbs water and swells according to conditions in the surroundings, and a shape memory pulse polymer, which deforms in response to stimuli from the environment. For example, heat, electricity, moisture, uh, hot water, light, and even various pH levels. So, so what are the benefits? So like in the case of our pipes, for example, like, you know, narrowing and expanding, is that just kind of water conserving? Like if there's not, I mean, like how, what is the benefit of? The yeah, well, let's say that? somebody, you know, one of your neighbors threw in something that it shouldn't be going in there, like diapers, for example. Mm -hmm. So instead of the pipe exploding, it yeah. could just expand to let the diapers through. I see. So something okay. that isn't supposed to be, all of the things are not supposed to flush. So it's going to work best in public toilets. Exactly. exactly. So basically, if, if a, you know, mystery substance gets flushed down, it like lets it go through. It lets right. it go because it expands. Now, there are a lot of applications to 4D. So first of all, aerospace, uh, defense and military sector, sectors, military sectors. For mm -hmm. example, the U.S. military invested almost $900,000 into the technology to see whether it can uh, construct self-building bridges and shelters. The automotive uh, industry, mm -hmm. shoe wear, for example, your sneakers can become stiffer if you're playing tennis, for example, to give you lateral wow. support. Uh, healthcare, for example, a capsule that would release drugs in the case of infection because, you know, it would become hotter, the area would become hotter, so it would release it. Construction, you can, you can <laughs> construct a flat board which will unfold and become a chair in response to water that is or electricity. Incredible. Uh, another thing is, uh, uh, for example, if, if you look, for example, just at the limitations, first of all, they're very, very slow. Uh, and sometimes they can change their form, but they cannot go back to the original form, mm -hmm. which is a, a big uh, disadvantage. Issue, right. Yeah, but uh, by the way, in the future, it's expected to be a $555 million uh, market. Something really, really so crazy. So I still don't, I still, I'm like looking at video after video after video, and I'm still trying to understand it. I mean, how does it change form using printing? How okay, does it, so how does it work? Okay, so with 3D printers, you'll be able to print a particular object. Mm -hmm. When you use 4D printing, this object could change its form in reaction to the so environment. So it's the material. It's the that's material. Used it's used in the printing. Exactly. It's not the printing itself. Exactly. It's okay. just it's the same printing, but it's just that the material is different, and you can also print out one object which would be stiffer in one area or softer in another area, and that would be able to react to the environment. Right. So if so there's you, a lot of applications. A lot of applications. So if you expose it to electricity, it changes form. If you expose it to heat, so it changes what, so form. So what's what's going to be the next uh, wave once we get to 5D, 60, 70, all the way to well, well, well actually. It's gonna so we're going to be like printing uh, spaceships and go to the moon all through 3D printing. <laughs> well, uh, five, we're not going to get to 5D because right. 5D means possible worlds. It's different, something yeah. from physics. Something we're not going to get there. No. <laughs>